shot of my collection. I don't know what that'll do for much it's of anything. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not much, but... Mm. Not much? It's really not much. Spada has over 500. Well, Spada is not being interviewed, and I'm not dating Spada. No, but Spada is getting married, and he has a productive life. How he managed to accumulate 500 DVDs, a fiancé, and a productive life is still beyond me. I can get two out of three on a good day. Well, minus the fiancé part. Substitute for girlfriend, we're a little bit closer. Yeah. No, but I remember waking up at six in the morning to watch Sailor Moon, and I was about maybe eight, nine, ten around then. When I got to Shoujo Con, it was my first convention ever. I don't remember how I talked my mom into taking me and my sister, who was, I think at that point, probably about eight or nine years old. Um, but we got there, and we're like, wow, people are in costume. Whoa, and we thought it was just so cool. The first one that I actually sewed myself was a generic white mage from Final Fantasy. I made every single newbie mistake in the book. I got a little better to pick costumes that A, were not giant tent robes and actually require some sewing skill, B, not do everything out of broadcloth, and C, just get better at sewing. Before I was really heavily into anime, I thought the cosplayers were as big as losers could get. It kind of changed my attitude in 2002. I saw some pretty good pictures from Final Fantasy X-2. Uh, and I was really impressed by what people were doing. So I decided, hey, I have zero skill. I'm gonna give this a shot too. The other costumes I did, <laughs> there's only been three. Um, one of those was Jewish Wolfwood, which was at Anime Expo, uh, sorry, Anime Next 2004. The draw in an anime con, when it all boils down, is being amongst, amongst other fans, other people who care enough to spend their time and money to come. It's a general, uh, it's a general vibration of being there that makes an anime con really enjoyable to me. The competition part kind of uh, is my bad influence, I guess. Uh, I never really intended to uh, take Jewish Wolfwood on stage for Otakon 04. In the end, I decided, what the hell? I threw together, you know, just some one-liners, made it into a script, and then went to sign up. I have never seen Trigun. I don't know anything about Wolfwood. I mean, the whole essence of, you know, Jewish Wolfwood even was to satirize every schmuck can make a cross and wear a black suit. This was me saying, hey, Somebody's gotta do something else to illustrate how stupid it is to do this popular costume. I'm gonna be doing a character called Lady Harkin from Wild Arms Alter Code F. No, you probably have never heard of it, but that's okay. Okay, so <sighs> Lady Harkin, no. did I get Harkin. it right? Harkin, sorry. It's okay. Okay, so Lady Harkin, we're gonna go do with the, uh, the foam stuff, right? Yeah, foam for the armor. Okay. Because I don't wanna deal with fiberglass, I'll probably kill myself. Yeah. Yeah, helmet, how are we gonna manage the helmet? The helmet I may have to carve, like, Possibly, I don't know if the foam will stretch in the curve that much without cracking. I know it'll be fine for the armor, but going around in a curve, it may not work too well. We need some, we need like a base of something. I was thinking possibly slicing off the top of a bowl. I don't know how a bowl would work like that. I mean, it, it would have to fit your head first and foremost, and then we have to work with the forward parts. We're, we basically have to be shaping everything from the ground up with that. Base of the wings, well, the, the wings. This part could probably be still the foam. The Is part it, that goes around the head probably. You want to know what that strikes me more of? Like what? a modified bicycle helmet. Hmm, that might be good. If we could, I mean, you know how they come with like holes and stuff. If we could find like a cheap old bike helmet, it'd be hard to sew into a saw through a bike helmet. But if we had the right hacksaw, that's why I'd like to avoid sawing through a bike helmet. Okay, so what else do we have to cover, in Lady Harknell? Mm, Harkin. Harkin. I, Who's she, Lady Harknell? I think she's from an Oscar Wilde play. I don't know. <laughs> Google it if you care so much. <laughs> I'm scared to be I'm gonna call her Harknell, Harkness, Harkin, Harkening. Well, Harkin's correct. Harkin? Okay. Yeah. Like Harkening, you know, destruction. Okay. Yeah. I hope you weren't following that part. What? Okay. Nothing's good. <laughs> <laughs>